In VisMe, you can pretty much animate every single object. Here is a quick example of a short animation that's created right in VisMe. As you can see, there's a few objects here, shapes, icons, and they've been animated in a certain order. And I'm going to show you how that is done. So first what you do is you place your objects in the position, the final position that you want them to be in. So in this case, what we've done is we want to represent that this uh, sheet or this information can actually be downloaded. So in this case, there's a process from the left to the right. And I'm going to decide as far as which animation objects I want to bring in. So I will go ahead and tell this arrow to come in first. And then I want to bring in this circle with this uh, piece of paper. And the last but not least, I want to bring in these two elements from the right side and I want to fade this one in. Uh, that may seem like a lot, but it's actually a pretty simple process. You want to break it down into two things. One is in terms of time, the order that they come in, and two, what type of animation you want to select. So here's how we do it. First, I will click on this object. I want to bring this one first. And every single object in VisMe, when you click it, on the top right here, you have an animate option. So I'm going to click animate. And when I do that, I can decide between moving from the left to the right, from the top, the bottom, fade in, or even pop out. I'm going to keep this one very simple. I want this object, the arrow, since it's moving to the right, to actually move from the left to the right. And I want it to, let's say, come in at 0.5 seconds. Uh, and I will hit apply. Now, I have two objects here. I want these to come in second. Now, I have two options. I want these to come in at the very same time. If I want to do that, then instead of one by one going in and applying an animation, such as this case, and then going to this object and applying the same animation, assuming I want it to come in at the same time, what I can do is I can group them and then apply an animation. So you can group any object in VisMe. I'm going to go ahead and just drag around this with my mouse. And now I've both objects have been selected, if you notice. And I'm going to go ahead on the top left here, click Group. And if you notice, this object is not grouped. And then what I can do is go ahead and click Animate. And I will tell this to also come from the left. But I want these to come in a little bit later. So I'll say one second. So I've now applied animation to this and to this. How do I know that? When I click on an object, I can actually t uh, see on the top right, it tells me this is going to fly from the left starting at 0.5 seconds. This one's going to fly from the left starting at 1 second. Now let's go ahead and animate this one. I want this object to come from the right side. So I'm going to click animate, and I will tell it to come from the right, and I want it to come in a little bit later. So I'll tell it to come in at let's say um, two seconds, okay? And then I will go ahead and uh, click on this icon. And I want this one to fade in. So I will click animate. I will come down here and say fade. And this one I'll tell it to come in at one second. And hit OK. So what I want to do now is to preview it. In order to see what the animation looks like, you have to go to preview. So I click Preview, and what will now happen is I will get to see what my animation is going to look like. So you see? There you go. But there's one little problem here. This object came in uh, way after this icon appeared. So I want to manage the time. So let's play this again. You see? This came in, and then the circle with the border came in after. And I have two ways of managing the timeline of my animation. I can click the object, and if you see here, it says start up one second, and go back to animate and change the time here. Or there's a pretty cool thing you can do in VisMe. We have a complete timeline. So here's how it works. I'll click on any object. I'll go on the left menu and click any of these objects and make sure my left panel is open. If you notice here, I have a little object list. And I click this, and every single one of my objects is shown now. And what I can now do is say show timeline. If you notice, I can see that there is a time frame where my objects are showing. So I had this object, let me close this, 
this object here, this shape. So if by clicking it, it's automatically going to be selected in my um, object uh, order, uh, object list, and I will click to show timeline, and I notice that I had applied a one second. Well, I can just drag it and say, you know what, I want you to come in a little bit later on. So I will do this. And I will now go ahead and preview again. So in this case, when I see my animation loading, the objects come in, and I will go ahead and apply this a little bit later. So let's see if I moved it as far as I want. Perhaps I want it to be a little bit later. So I'll go ahead also again, and then just give it a hard number, three seconds, apply it, and now I will animate, I will preview. And then let's take a look, and it should load a little bit later on. So there we go. There comes the object, and then there comes that. So you don't really have to interact with this object list. This is just an advanced setting, but it gives you, you know, complete control over managing the orientation of your different objects. Uh, for the novice, all you really need to do is just deal with the object and go to the animate. And that's how you can completely control the animation effects. Uh, you can also set exit stage, but really that's only recommended if you want to items to come in and then exit after a certain period of time. Uh, what you really pretty much want to deal with and recommend, uh, we recommend is that you just deal with the enter stage for the most uh, more novice users. And so go ahead and try your own animations and have fun.